Hey everybody, Darren Voros here. Today I'm at our Oak Mountain Project and I wanted to walk around and show you what's happened here over the last eight to 10 weeks. The last video I did here was after we had completed demolition and a lot has happened since that time. We've underpinned the basement, we've blown out the back wall of the house, we've started the addition, uh, we have been pouring concrete, we've been doing a lot of things and you'll see the progress as I walk through the property today. And I'll also talk a little bit about what's coming up and what you're gonna see next happening on this site. Before we get into it, if you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and please feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. I'm sure there are gonna be lots of questions that come up as I'm walking around. I love answering your questions when it comes to renovation and developing and all of the things related to this project and all of our other projects. So feel free to leave those in the comments section below. And without further ado, let me walk you around and show you what's going on. On here. I'm standing in front of the front door, which uh, from this perspective, not a lot has changed, but I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what's been happening here because uh, actually the entire back wall and the addition that used to be here was torn off in order to be able to release the pressure and the load from the roof all the way down to the foundation so that we could blow out the back wall in the basement and then do the addition. So let me flip the camera around, walk you around and show you what's going on. So here's the front door. And then as we turn, you can kind of see that the back wall has been totally removed on the main floor. This is where the addition used to be. There was a kitchen here and then uh, the living room and then you had that step down to the dining room. Well, that's all been removed. You can see we've kept the concrete block wall there on both sides and um, that's where the addition was. There was a roof above that addition that's all been taken off. And you can see the main floor now is, is all opened up to the elements. And so this is why we're in a bit of a rush to get things closed back in and get the, the site secured. As we walk upstairs, um, you'll see a similar pattern uh, throughout the house of why we've removed these back walls. There was a brick wall here um, and that brick wall was basically transferred all the way down to the foundation. And so in order to remove the back foundation wall, we had to take the pressure off from above. So we had to remove the brick wall here all the way down. Once we've done that, then we've alleviated the pressure on the basement wall and we can remove that wall. You'll see the site here and I'm gonna walk down and show you, but there's quite a bit of sand. We've excavated out the addition and the walkout. That's what you're seeing down there and I'll explain that when I get downstairs, but um, you really get to see the scope of the project from up here and what we've been dealing with. We've also blocked off access to upstairs because there's no safety railings upstairs. So we're up on the third floor, you get a perspective now of what this space looks like. Really no point in trying to keep windows closed or anything when the back of the house is ripped off like this. And you can see that the demo guys had to cut the joists um, in order to be able to remove this back wall. So we're in the spring now in Canada, so I think things are a little bit more predictable in terms of the weather. And really at this point, if things get wet or uh, there's water on the site, it doesn't matter. So technically right now, there's nothing holding up this section other than the fact that it's supported by the outside brick wall. Um, but this isn't gonna be like this for very long. So once we get the back section framed, we'll support this down below as well. I'm gonna walk out to the edge very carefully and show you what's going on in the back. So the garage was there before, that's now just a big pile of debris and uh, concrete. And uh, you can see that we closed in the shed back there as well. And I'm gonna walk back and show you the pool that we've uh, filled in with sand as well. So as you can see, things inside the house have changed drastically. I wanna walk down to the basement, show you what's going on there. And I wanna walk the perimeter of the property and show you the new foundation that's gone in and what's about to happen next. So I'm gonna take you downstairs, show you the basement. The only way to get to the basement now is to go around the back um, through a ladder to the basement because we've eliminated all the staircases, the interior staircases to the basement. And you'll see why when we get down there in the basement now which from this perspective doesn't look like much has changed you can see the underpinning behind me we dropped the floor of the basement we're gonna have about eight and a half foot um, ceiling height in the basement um, and that's why we did the underpin but when you spin around from here you'll see that things have changed drastically we've removed the back wall 
and uh, now we are able to see the real full extent of what this basement apartment will look like or the two basement apartments will look like uh, and the size of them here when you can see the addition. So as I mentioned here is the underpinning and then you used to come along here and there used to be a giant wall back there separating these two spaces and you can see it's totally been removed and that's why we had to remove all of the brick above this because it was all sitting on this foundation wall right here. And in order to be able to remove this foundation wall, we had to take all of the brick above that off in order to be able to open up this section. There was also a brick wall here and uh, that was supporting these floor joists above that. So in order to be able to remove that brick wall, we had to put in temporary supports. There is a strip footing going right down the middle here. So there'll be a footing that goes all the way along here because there'll be a dividing wall between the two basement apartments. So the way that this property is going to be laid out is essentially there'll be two units on each floor. So where I'm standing right now is at, almost at the front wall. So this will basically be one unit on one side going all the way to the back. So this is the block foundation that was done as an addition probably in the uh, 80s or 90s. And you'll see that we underpin this section as well. And this is where the old back wall of the house used to be. And that's all been removed. This is uh, temporary shoring. And we had a bit of an issue where um, uh, we had a cave in. And so the neighbor's driveway started coming into our uh, hole in our pit that we had dug. So the guys did some temporary shoring here. This will actually stay in place until we've poured the new foundation wall and back backfilled and then we'll just cut off these extra high timbers and we'll leave this retaining wall in place and then we'll backfill and we'll fix the neighbor's uh, driveway that's had a bit of um, their interlocking uh, fall apart. So again you see the uh, old back wall of the house. Um, this is where we were having the machines come in and out for digging out the basement and now you start to see this is where the addition will be. So this section here will be an addition to the house and this will be the walkout. So you might be wondering why there's this big pit and it goes down so far. Uh, because the walkout is going to be at grade level, you have to get your footings down four feet from there because uh, that will avoid the frost heave. So the frost gets into the ground and will lift the actual foundation of the building. So you have to go down four feet. Um, in order to be able to do a walkout. So this walkout is nine feet. Uh, so it's a, it's a large walkout. And now you really start to see in perspective here uh, the magnitude of the excavation that's taken place. But we're ready to backfill. This is a bit of a, a cave in here as well. You see what happens when the earth kind of caves in. And, um, but we're so far from the neighboring property on this side, we don't have to worry so much. But we'll get this backfilled and then they're gonna pour the foundation walls this week. And then we'll be able to put everything back together and get out of the ground and start working on framing. From here, you really get a good perspective of why it was necessary to remove all the brick above. Because all the brick that was sitting down on the foundation wall needed to be removed in order to be able to take out that back section. So. Uh, you'll see why they had to rip the back of the house off in order to be able to do the extension. So this is where the garage used to be. You can see what's left of the old slab uh, will all be removed and taken off site once we get things put back together. And now you start to see the massive mound of dirt here, sand that will be used to backfill once the foundation walls are complete. So we also uncovered the pool back here. And what we did is instead of taking some of the dirt off site and then having to bring back dirt later on, we actually just filled the pool with the sand. And then when we're ready to landscape this area, we'll take up the perimeter of the pool and we'll make this area green space back here for the tenants. This will be a really nice little area for them to be able to enjoy back here. As you can see, we've got tons of space. And then now you get to see the house in the distance. <laughs> so from back here, you really get a good perspective of the size of this lot and how much space we actually have to work with. So this is why we were so excited about purchasing this lot and being able to develop this property to what we're gonna do today. So we're back inside where we started. I hope you guys enjoyed that walk around. 
What's next here at Oak Mount? We're going to be doing the foundation extension. So we'll be building the foundation walls and tying those into the old foundation. And then we'll start framing. So we're going to be removing all of the interior framing in the property and basically starting over from scratch, doing all new floor assemblies. The reason we're doing that is because all of the layouts have changed from the old layouts and really there's so much work that was done to this property improperly. And so to try to fix all of that is much harder than just taking it all out and starting from scratch. So that's where we're headed next. I can't wait to show you guys that in a couple of weeks when we've started our framing. If you guys enjoyed the walk around today, if you don't mind, hit that like button below to help satisfy the YouTube algorithm. You can also subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and please feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. I love hearing your questions about our projects and what's going on, so feel free to leave those below. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or check out my website at darrenboros.com. With that, I'll say thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you the best of success on your real estate investing journey, and I look forward to hearing your success stories very soon.